Hello my friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna. For those of you who didn't watch my last video, I did get a hair color change. It's this purple to pink to silver down here at the bottom color that I got for a job that I booked earlier this week. So I'm super loving it. It's very fun. I can't keep it for too long since I do have to go back to blonde for acting, but I'm really enjoying it while I can. But besides that, I know that's not what you're here for. I know you're all here to see the finale, finale of final finales of The Last of Us, which will be happening today. We're gonna play all the way through the end. It's gonna be a good time. And before any of you get to asking in the comments section, after this, I will be playing Left Behind, which is the Last of Us DLC or add-on or whatever you wanna call it. So I hope you enjoy the video. The smuggler, he's in here! Well, that worked out. We're sort of starting in... the middle of things, to say the least. <laughs> I couldn't quite find the right words. We're, we're starting in the line of fire because we just found out we're, we're in the hospital where the fireflies are uh, holding the fort, I guess. And um, we just found out that Ellie, in order to save the human race and blah, 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 um, was due for a brain surgery that was going to kill her, essentially. And um, we just weren't cool with that. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, since we love her and all that. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh! Ooh. What? Oh, what fun thing do we have? <laughs> How very exciting. I'm very excited about this. Um, anyways, so we're gonna run some train on some bitches. Ooh, this bitch right here. Oh, did I just die? That fast? Considering I did so well for the first three guys. Sorry, I, I was so distracted by my talking that I let these guys sneak up on me. But no more! Oh, get down, Joel. No more, she says, and then immediately gets shot. Wow, I like this gun. I only have four more bullets, though. Okay. Anyway, so the point is... I can't remember if I already said this, but the point is... We're gonna save Ellie. That is our one and only goal in life right now. And to be honest, I think it's a pretty worthy goal because we love her and shit, you know? And when you love someone and shit, you gotta save them no matter what. That's the idea anyways. Don't have a weapon, all right? <clears throat> Makes sense, I suppose. Anything in here? No, nothing in here. Nothing usable anyway. Switch back to this. Ah, let's switch back to this. Let's see. No one's super close by, but I imagine this lit up hallway is our next area to go to. He's in here! Oh, hello, I've just been seen. By these guys. I wonder if I could potentially flank them. But, oh, okay, I'll just vault over that. It's cool. What I really meant to do was takey takey take. But sometimes, you know, we forget what button to press when we're super stressed out about saving Ellie. Alright, so there's a guy right there. I think I could probably take him out pretty easily, I'll be honest. Just shot his fucking helmet off, really? Ah, oh, fuck that. Don't move. Good night. I need a health kit. Wow, I called it a health kit for the first time in my life. That's actually the proper name for it. Instead of calling it a health potion like I usually do. Like a fucking dumbass. You know me. I just get caught up in the emotion of the game sometimes. So what are we gonna work with here? Mm, I don't really like any of my options, but this will have to do. You know, there are some parts of the game that I really feel like were made for the element of stealth. 
And there are some parts of the game where I feel like I just need to go in and murder everyone. This might be one of those times. And truly, I feel bad about it because it's not their fault that Ellie was about to get murdered. Like, they didn't make that choice. But at the same time, they're defending the people who made that choice. And I'm not down with that, you know? I'll uh, we'll switch to you. Yeah. You're not flanking me, are you? Mm, yes, you are. He's in here. I can't see him. There we go. Alright, that was cool. Wow, there's a lot of them. Pay for that. Holy moly, this would be a good time for one of these. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, they're not grouping together like I wish they would. Oh, is there someone? Oh, there's someone right there. Alright, you get one of these. Just for the help. <laughs> Fuck you! Burn to death! Bitch! And you get one of these. And then I will just grab you and kill you. Take a take a take. Alright, there's one right there that it's time for me to take out. Where is he? Cool, I gotta reload on that. Cool, cool, cool. Where is he? Go there he there. is. Go check over there. <laughs> I really have gotten good at that. I think the, the upgrade in weapon sway really helps though. Got some friends over here. Watch my back. Ready to go? Oh no! He literally just got the drop on me. Did he really survive that? Oh fuck that. That's my opinion. Fuck that. There's one right here. I just want to keep track of him, you know? Oh, he really got me good. Dang. Run! We're right back to where we started. We're going to reload. We're going to health kit because we got plenty of that. And then we're going to listen very carefully. And you know what? This whole, like... Kamikaze, like running in without any thought to it, has not really gone well for me. I do a lot better when I'm a little bit more focused on stealth. So instead of just running train on these bitches, let's get a little more collected. Let's get a little bit more calm and calculated and serial killery. And let's just murder them. And I think that's fair. Probably gonna have to shoot him twice. Because he's got a helmet. Where's the other guy? There you are. <laughs> ah, I missed. Shit. Where are you? Running that way, I see. Coward. Life's rough when you're dead, isn't it? Wow, I'm feeling really violent right now. And honestly, like, I'm not, I'm not usually this violent, right guys? I just feel like this, like, I gotta protect Ellie instinct that's inside of me, like, has really brought this out, this awful side of me. Okay, we got one more guy that we can see at least. There may be more that we can't see. 
Which I would be cool with because, you know, there's stuff going on and I'm alright with it. Oh, hell yes! Stuffs! Come back to me, my friend. My good, good friend. Yes, my friend. Oh! Rainbow Six Siege is updated. Do I have stuffs? Oh, okay, let's do this. Because we're pretty close to the end of the game, so... If I'm not getting any more uh, upgrades... If I am getting any more upgrades, I better do it now. Not enough for maximum health, although I would really like that. Excuse me, you guys. Sorry. Wow. Ooh. Um, I could do more listen mode. I just pet my rabbit a second ago, and uh, ugh, sometimes she gives me allergies, and I get really mad about it. So I could craft one of these, and then I can take one of those. Take. Okay. So we're looking good on that. Oh. Go through there. We'll go through there. Just to very quickly skim through, look for more stuffs for the taking. And I'm only seeing a little bit of stuffs. Not a ton of stuffs. And you know, honestly, at this point, I just don't have a lot of need for stuffs because I just have so much stuffs because so many people were like, Brianna, in this game, you won't get a lot of stuffs. So keep your stuffs. So I did, and now I have a lot of stuffs. All right, West Wing. That's a show. I don't need to crouch right now. What am I doing? Now I might need to crouch. How did I know? Maybe it was this um, conveniently placed barrier. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm right here. Excuse me. <laughs> Die, bitch! And I will also take the ammo for self killing you. <laughs> oh, look, more stuffs. Take, 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 take. I'm still pretty much good on stuffs. That's the life of a hoarder. I always have too much stuffs. Can I open this? No. Alright. Moving on. There's someone right here? Really? That was weird. Oh, he's right there. There, got it. I thought the smoke would protect me a little bit more, but it did not. That's okay, because he's dead now. Or at least knocked out. And Joel's fists are even more mangled and broken than they already were. Which is honestly, like, quite a feat, considering... Can I go out this window? No, absolutely not. Why would I think that? I like this, like, quarantined, like clothed down hallway. That is kind of cool, like, atmospherically. Get over here! Excuse me for a second. Ah! Wow! That was a total, like, luck. I did not mean that. I am not that quick. That was just a, a happy accident, in my opinion. But, you know, like, I'll just pretend that that was practice and skill at work. Yeah, I'm just a really good shot. Like, I'm really quick at headshots. <laughs> no! Did I just get five pills right now? Really? I could have used those for some for some useful upgrade instead of the crap one that I got that I didn't really desperately need just because I thought I was not going to get any more pills. So that's kind of lame. And I still don't have a melee weapon, so I still can't upgrade something, but that's okay. I can at least reload you the very least, and I'll reload you while I can, and I'll reload you, no, nope, you're good, you're good, alright, here we go with our brick, you know, it, it behooved me to have a smoke screen at the ready, so I think I'll keep that as a new habit for me, 
<laughs> he is real desperate right now. Okay, this area is blocked off. No steps for the taking. We just came through there. So now we get to go up here. Wow. Dude, the fact that Joel is not like wheezing exhausted right now like I would be after climbing three flights of stairs as a miracle. In fact, that's the most unrealistic thing in this game. Stuff's there, stuff's here. I think this might be a room. Ooh, a recorder. You know this is my favorite part. April 28th, April 28th that's my birthday! Yeah, at the cost of Ellie's life. Not cool. I like how their first inclination is just to kill Ellie. Like, the only person who's immune thus far... Let's just in let's just perform brain surgery on her to the point where she is completely dead. Like that doesn't really make any sense to me because of if there was any like real doctor or real scientist performing this, they would know that often your first sample doesn't really yield any results. It's just more confusing than anything else. So I don't really know, I don't know, I, I guess it's the point is for the dramatic effect, but the fact that he, his first thought was, we're gonna save the world because we have one immune person. No. No way. It's PM. April 28th, my birthday! was a powerful one. Ooh. That one recorder demonstrated the struggle that a leader had to go through to sacrifice one to save many. That one recording, that one monologue, that one performance by one voice actress encompassed all of those different concepts. Love this game, dude. Freaking love this game. So good. Alright. Moving on. We have looked pretty much everywhere in this area. Now there's just this big light up sign. Oh, okay. We're in it. We're in. The next area, surgery is down at the end of the hall. We're just quickly going to scan this area because honestly, I'm going to do a little bit of searching around even though it doesn't necessarily benefit the direct story because that one recorder 
really made a huge difference in the story, to be honest. Um, even though it was technically an optional thing, it was just one of those things that makes the game great. So I'm going to do a little exploring here just to make sure that I don't miss anything super obvious. You know, if I... Honestly, like, I've, I've missed a lot in this game and they kind of make it so that you have to search for it. It definitely warrants more than one playthrough because this is my first playthrough and it definitely warrants more than one. Um, so if I miss anything, I think that's how it was supposed to be. I'm not supposed to get everything in my first playthrough, but I'd like to at least try to get everything that I can at least see. Okay, this is Marlene's journal. We finally crossed the Utah border and a couple of days we'll be back with the others. Today the crew is in much better spirits. I've been worried about the morale since Greg and Tanya's passing last week. It's good to hear them laughing again. Robin came up to me and said, thanks for watching over us, Marlene. It was a small gesture, but I needed it. March 23rd, Ellie never made it. We arrived at the hospital. There was much celebration. I guess they're happy to see their old friends. We haven't seen some of these guys in over 10 years. After they told me the news, I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk to anybody. I should just be grateful to be alive. March 24th, they look at me and I know what they're thinking, that we're a bunch of incompetent grunts. I thought I was going to die, my men were being hunted, I had to get out of the city. I panicked. In the end, I healed pretty quickly, my men were more capable. I should have kept Ellie with me. Instead, I handed her off to a couple of smugglers. I failed you, Anna. I failed all of us. I am an incompetent grunt. Anna is Ellie's mom. April 25th, I can't stand talking to any of them. I don't think I can take the stairs any longer. No way can I stay here. April 28th, my birthday, one of our scouts just radioed in. He spotted an older man and a young girl entering the tunnel by the bus terminal. He thinks she might have had red hair, but he's not sure. What if it's her? Stop doing this, Marlene. The recon squad is about to head out. I'm going to join them. April 28th, when you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. She's alive. They're running the tests on her now. I can't tell if I'm excited, scared, or just nervous. All I know is my hands won't stop shaking. Damn. Marlene's not a bad lady. She just had to make a really tough choice. A choice that's not going to matter in the end, because I, Joel, am going yeah, to save Ellie. Right. I'm coming, Ellie. And there is nothing they can do about it. Guns or not. Successful. I killed one guy and I needed to use a whole health kit because that's how shitty that was. Okay. I thought I was better than that, but I guess not. I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful. Okay. I could just go in and assault rifle them all, but assault rifles waste a lot of bullets. They're not always easy to aim. I could just sneak up on this guy if he doesn't turn around. That would be great. Don't turn around. Don't do it. Grab. Strangle. Oh no, I'm gonna get seen. Oh no. Oh no. Run. To the corner. Seen, don't get seen. Oh god, that one really always bothers me. Alright. Moving on. One to my left. Okay, I think I'm just gonna... Mm, I could wait for him to come around, but he might never come around. You got it. Go check over there. Let's see if this works. This is not gonna work. This is 
definitely not gonna work. That was so dumb. Actually, though, this might work. Walk back. You won't walk get out back. of here. Walk. You back do know that. Come on. There we go. Good night. Okay. Cool beans. How are we looking? We're looking a little panicked, if I'm being honest. We gotta save Ellie. There's only one thing in this world that matters. It's that little girl. It's Joel's baby girl. Alright. I'm gonna make myself cry just thinking about that. The things they've been through together. And they just wanna kill her. That's not gonna work for me. I'll be honest, it's not gonna work for me. Where the hell are you? Let's try a distraction technique that I haven't done for a long time. <laughs> I like how it hit him. Why would you look over there? No wonder I stopped using that technique. That's because it was bad. Alright, cool. So this might work out for me. If he comes around that corner and I can just... Yeah, what you got? Nope. nope, didn't work out. Didn't work out at all in my favor. I always think that I can grab them around the corner, but it does not ever work out. Um, him to death, but it didn't work out. Oh no, I have to go all the way back here, don't I? Oh my god. I'd rather die, honestly. That was really dumb. This was so dumb. Ugh, I don't like this at all. Alright, well... I was so close to the end, and then I have to start all the way over? Eww, that sucks. What am I even gonna do? Nobody call me out on that. I feel really bad. That was so dumb. I didn't realize, I mean, I should have realized that like, if he's wearing a helmet, you can't just knock him out with a brick, but stupid me. I just like, ugh, I hate having to redo things. Hey, you see that? Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Now, throwing a smoke mob did not work for me before, but maybe. Oh, that worked for him too. Well, that, I mean, 
mean, I wouldn't say that worked out, but I'm not dead, and they are, so... I mean, not not the end of the world, in my opinion. I definitely wouldn't say it worked out, though. That was... Kind of a shit show. Kind of a shit show. I did not expect that Molotov to kill more than one person. But it did. That definitely surprised me. Why am I doing this? You guys, go check over there. He has got a helmet on. Damn it, I don't think an arrow is going to kill him, will it? He doesn't have a helmet on, though. That was cool. Just going in and full on just going ham on them bitches. Although every time I go ham, it does not work out for me, but. <laughs> you and me, buddy. I really should shake. I really should save this. Maybe I could use one of these guys. Mm, no. Mm. Not really liking any of my options here. We'll try you. <laughs> Remember when I said I wasn't really liking any of my options here? Since I have multiples of you and you're not really good against any potential Loaders. We'll just go ahead and... Why can't I just throw it at his head? What? What? I totally grabbed him. Are you freaking kidding me? Rage. Unending rage. Stupid as shit. All right, we kicked some ass and we took some names. Here we are in this place. Let's save an Ellie. More, ugh. more people to kill. I just want to get to Ellie. Is that so wrong? That should buy me some time. That should buy me some time. Oh, let's go in here. What's in here? What's even in here? A note. Ooh, another recorder. Okay. Hey, Anna. It's been a while since we spoke. I know. Uh, but I just can't be okay to proceed with the surgery. I really thought I had much of a choice. Asking me was more of a formality. I need you to know that I've kept my promise all these years. Big mistake.
Damn, son. Well, Joel made a different choice than Marlene did. He wasn't going to sacrifice Ellie. And to be honest, she made a big mistake not killing him. Big mistake. Huge. Alright, here we go. So over here. We got a door. The only door. Oh, sweet Jesus. You get away you from her! Am I gonna shoot him? I won't let you take her. Don't <laughs> Shut the hell up! Get out of here. I'm taking Ellie. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> oh shit. <clears throat> oh my god. This is too much. This is way too similar to him trying to get out with his daughter. Oh my god, I have the freaking chills. Oh my god, I can't. I'm getting you out of here, girl. This is way too similar to when he was carrying his daughter. I just can't deal with this right now. I got you. Oh my god. can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still the right thing here. She won't feel anything. Ellie better be in that seat right fucking next to him. There's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Ain't done a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. Sorry. 
Wait! Let me go! Please. You just come after her. She would. I support that decision 100%. Mm hmm. I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been would have been good friends. You can't you see that shit, Joel. I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. I'm just like thinking over and over in my head. Like the emotions that Joel must have gone through in that moment of like this was his one chance to do things over again the right way and to oh. save his baby girl because he couldn't last time and like the guilt he must have felt it's a little bit further now it's like you can't really understand what he went through back then until you understand what he would do to fix it. That's just like really intense. Yeah, I got you. She knows he lied. She knows. Oh my god. <sighs> Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So, she says, let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear Bell, to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Damn.
Well, I don't know quite what to say to start because, wow, that was the end. That was the finale. I wasn't expecting it to come so soon. I'm not quite sure why. I'm feeling like I really need to take some time to process before I give you a full analysis of really what I'm feeling, but I can give you some first initial impressions. The first thing I'd like to mention is that this concept keeps recurring in the games that I'm playing, this concept yeah. of valuing one over many. You know, Joel saved Ellie despite the fact that her sacrifice might have saved humanity as we know it. And, you know, in Life is Strange, which I just finished, Max had to make the decision whether or not to save Chloe over saving her town um, and all the people in it, proposedly. Proposedly, that's not even a word. Um, and, and that concept keeps coming back to save one or save many. And that really comes down to, if you really narrow down the essence of that question, it narrows down to what's the value of a human life? Is the value monetary? Is it is it qualified? Is it quantifiable? Is it the same value-wise as anyone else? Is it a one-to-one -one ratio? Or is the value of a human life completely dependent on the perspective of one person? I tend to be of the opinion that the value, that val all value is perspective-based. That I may be willing to pay $50 for a nice meal, but that may be extremely exorbitant or not considered very nice to different people. That's just a very small, simplified example of what is value and how can you put value on a human life? Can you at all? This is something that The Last of Us did much better than Life is Strange. In Life is Strange, you got to make the choice. Max gets to make the choice, save Chloe or not despite the fact that Chloe really wants to sacrifice herself. Well, in The Last of Us, Joel takes that decision away from Ellie. Just takes it from her. Not only by making the choice to save her, but by making the choice to save her and lying about it. And you know how I feel about lying. Like, if you guys have seen my Uncharted playthrough, like, I really hate liars. I don't believe and this has come from my own experience of me being a liar. I don't believe you can form any real relationships when you're lying. But in this case, Joel was putting his value of Ellie's life over Ellie's value of Ellie's life. And then lied to protect her. Because he knew that if, she, if he told her the truth about the fireflies, she would just want to go and sacrifice herself again. And is that robbing her of her free will, or is it sacrificing their relationship to save her at all costs? Is it sacrificing, is Joel making the choice to sacrifice her free will out of a selfish desire or out of an altruistic desire? It's really hard to tell. And that's something that The Last of Us really portrays in a, in a mind-bending way much better than Life is Strange. I think they're very different games and I don't think you can really compare them, but in that aspect I really feel like The Last of Us is really good at making you feel like each of the characters is a villain and a hero in their own way. And I think that's so cool. That is so hard to do with fictional characters. You guys have to understand that. I mean, and I mean most of you are as big of fans of this game as anyone could possibly be. Like, each one of you is the biggest fan of The Last of Us, and that's something I totally understand, and I totally appreciate. And um, so you guys get it, I know you guys do, that like, this game is a masterpiece. It is, the writing is just fantastic. Like, I would like to see a movie done this well. It's hard, it really is. I'd like to see TV done this well, and a lot of times it is, but sometimes with TV and movies, you get a little bit of an oversimplistic um, view of the characters in that 
in this area they're evil and in this area they're good or they only care about this or they only care about that and it doesn't do a very good job of the yin and yang it doesn't do a very good job of blending them into a complex dynamic and realistic character where one choice can both be extremely altruistic but also be extremely selfish one single choice that joel makes at the end to lie to Ellie. And it really just depends on how you see it, on your perspective of his choice. And I think that's what makes this game so great. And I keep saying like, that's what makes this game great, but like everything makes this game great. So many different things make this game great. And these are really just um, my first impressions of the game and the concepts that I have pulled out from the finale. I would really like to go back and replay this game. I'd really like the opportunity to play it almost through in one or two sittings so that I can really take in the story in one specific way. I really feel like the ending didn't impact me as maybe I would have anticipated and as maybe as maybe you guys would have anticipated as well and I'm not really sure why that is. It's possible that it's because I waited a couple days after playing the last chapter and so I lost some of the momentum, but it's also possible that I couldn't expect another possible outcome because this is the way that the story had to go. I also feel that this was the happy ending, if that makes sense. Um, Joel did save Ellie. And even though he had to kill Marlene, I also feel like that was the right choice because I also feel like that was a loose end. I feel like Marlene would have come back to haunt Ellie. And at that point, you're thinking, you're looking at a sequel, you know? Uh, so I sort of feel this happy ending aura right now. Even though this was not a happy game and this was not a happy ending, I sort of feel like I got a happy ending and I sort of feel like Joel and Ellie can finally live their lives even though they're, you know, surviving and trying to fight for their lives every day, I still get the feeling that they're going to be happy as a as a father and daughter figure. I don't know why I feel that way. I'm not sure. Those are just my first thoughts. So I suppose I'll end the video here before you guys even begin to ask. I'll be playing Left Behind, which I've heard is the story of Ellie and her friend Riley. I don't know that for sure. That's not confirmed. I'm not sure. I, I didn't look into it because I didn't want to deal with spoilers, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So I'm definitely going to be playing it. I already have it since it, I think, was included in my remastered copy of The Last of Us. So I'm very excited for that. Stay tuned for it. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And don't forget to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you won't miss the next episode. That's all, guys. I love you. Thank you for watching. Bye.